What's up? Time for a different method. We just did biscuit method. This is called the muffin method. Again, nothing too crazy about it. It's very simple. You're gonna put all your dry stuff in one bowl. This one right here has got our flour. It's got baking soda, baking powder, and salt, okay? You'll notice over here, there's sugar, okay? Sugar is considered a wet ingredient in baking. So just pay attention with that. I'm gonna put my egg in here, that's for one egg, so we get that shell out. And then I'm we'll also add in a third of a cup, it says of butter, I'm gonna use coconut oil, okay? Instead of using bananas for my recipe, you guys, let's see, a third of a cup, which I can tell is gonna be that. You guys need to make sure you do measure, okay? Super important. I've done this before, so I'm very comfortable with it. Three ripe bananas, which these really are not ripe enough for baking, guys. So, since my family isn't super into bananas, I have a little bit of pumpkin left, and I have some zucchini that I shredded, which is gonna be fine. You need to build it to about a cup, okay? That's kind of the idea there. So I'm gonna basically mix all my wet stuff first, then all my dry stuff, and then I'm gonna put them together. And I'll show you that in just a minute. You mix all the wet stuff together. Super pleasant over here, right? Just make sure it's all well incorporated. You can add a little cinnamon to this if you want. This recipe only has it in the crumble topping, which is totally great as well. Get a pumpkin pie spice, since we have some pumpkin in there. Now, it's very simple, you guys. You're gonna go ahead and put the wet into the dry. Try to get everything out of there. You spent money on it, spent time on it, okay? And now we're just gonna kind of fold it together again. We're not gonna get too crazy with it or spin, walk away and let a machine do this. We're just gonna kind of get it all mixed in by hand. All right, so it should look something like that. This may be a little wet, but again, I'm gonna be able to check it with a toothpick when I think that it's done, okay? So a really helpful thing once I grease these is to use something like a ice cream scooper, okay? It might even be a little too much, so you have to gauge it, but you're never gonna wanna fill these more than about two thirds of the way, because these need to rise. So give me just a second, I'll fill these up and I'll show you the crumble top. So I've got these filled with about three quarters of my um, batter. I still got a little bit left in here because I'm gonna end up putting this crumble together. So you can just do by hand. I poured coconut oil in there. You could use some melted butter. And all this is, which is on the recipe guys, is the final four ingredients. So please don't get too excited and throw these in the main mix. A lot of students do that in class. They mix everything together and you kind of have messed missed out on this really wonderful stuff. So what I like to do, this is kind of like if you've had a coffee cake before, okay? I like to put a little bit in here and then we'll finish it with the rest of the batter and then I'll put a little bit more on top too. Okay, normal minutes left. Here's the key thing you're looking for is, here real quick and I'm gonna open it and shut it. You can see how those are doughy. They're starting to get, they're starting to get that little dough and that's what you're looking for. So I think those things are going really well. Four minutes looks good to me. So, okay, so these are done after that 18 minutes or so. You can always leave them in longer, so I always set them for the 